hello friend today we'll see chemical properties of amines chemical properties are nothing but uh, chemical reactions uh, of amines in last uh, video we saw preparation of amines the first chemical property of amine is the alkylation so we have taken example of uh, ethyl amine and when this ethyl amine is treated with alkyl halide bromoethane is the alkyl halide here so it undergo undergoes substitution reaction hbr is removed and from that we'll get a secondary amine that is uh, diethyl amine is obtained from this reaction but diethyl amine is more reactive than ethyl amine therefore this diethyl amine further reacts with bromoethane and again substitution reaction same kind of substitution hbr goes out and we'll get a tertiary amine triethyl amine again triethyl amine is more reactive so it will again react with bromoethane and uh, now a salt uh, will be obtained that is uh, quaternary ammonium salt or we can say here tetra ethyl ammonium bromide is obtained where nitrogen is having plus charge and br is having minus charge so why tertiary amine is more reactive than secondary amine and why secondary amine is more reactive than primary amine that we'll see now so in this uh, primary amine that is ethyl amine CH3, CH2, NH2. In this primary amine, ethyl group is electron donating group, and there is already one lone pair of electron on nitrogen. So this electron donating group donates electron to the nitrogen, which is already having lone pair with itself. So electron density on nitrogen is increased, and therefore primary amines are reactive. In case of secondary amine. what happens so in case of secondary amine ch3 ch2 nh and again the third bond of nitrogen is again ch2 ch3 so here two ethyl groups are there and ethyl group is electron donating lone pair is already there on the nitrogen and this ethyl group also donate electrons electron donating group and two ethyl groups are there therefore more amount of electron density is on nitrogen and therefore secondary amine is more reactive than that of primary amine in case of tertiary amine three alkyl groups are there we can say three ethyl groups are there in tertiary amine and therefore Uh, because of three ethyl group three electron donating groups are there and electron density on nitrogen is increased again so it is highest in case of tertiary amine and that's why tertiary amine, uh, amine is more reactive than that of secondary and it further react with uh, bromoethane here triethyl amine is the tertiary amine and it will react with bromoethane to give quaternary ammonium salt in case of quaternary ammonium salt there is uh, no lone pair of electron on nitrogen nitrogen makes four bond therefore it is there is positive charge on that nitrogen and that's why the reaction is stopped so that's how alkylation is carried out then uh, next chemical reaction is acylation so in acylation uh, generally acyl group used is r c double bond o cl r uh, r may be alkyl group it may be ch3 c2h5 so when r nh2 is treated with r co cl hydrogen of nh2 one of the hydrogen of nh2 reacts with uh, chlorine hcl goes out and uh, amide is obtained so amine plus uh, acyl halide gives amide this product obtained is known as amide derivative of carboxylic acid and uh, 
we have taken some examples of it so first is uh, diethyl amine plus uh, acetyl chloride so diethyl amine is secondary amine hydrogen of that is uh, H plus because nitrogen is more electronegative and therefore it will carry negative charge and hydrogen is electropositive so it will carry positive charge compared to nitrogen it is positive and in case of acyl halide or we can say acetyl chloride carbonyl carbon possess partial uh, positive charge because carbon is less electronegative than chlorine and chlorine uh, possess partial negative charge okay partial negative charge has denoted by delta so that cl minus and h plus goes out hcl is the byproduct and the remaining part we can attach so this part is of secondary amine and uh, cocs3 is attached to nitrogen so that's how the product is obtained some more reactions of acylations are there here primary amine is taken ethyl amine or we can say amino ethane and it is uh, treated with acetic anhydride so if we don't have acetyl chloride we can also use acetic anhydride for acylation both are acylating agent acetyl chloride as well as acetic anhydride and same reaction occurs so H from amine combines with uh, one of these part of acetic anhydride here oxygen will carry negative charge and this uh, carbon this carbon will carry positive charge because carbon is less electronegative than oxygen so that C double bond O carbon will carry positive charge and oxygen will carry negative charge so negative charge oxygen combines with H plus and uh, acetic acid goes out so CH3 CO O and H acetic acid goes as the byproduct and amide is formed in this reaction advantage of reaction uh, with acetic anhydride is byproduct obtained is less toxic okay uh, with acyl halide HCl is obtained as byproduct which is poisonous but in case of acetic anhydride plus amine uh, will get acetic acid which is not that toxic and poisonous as that of HCl and same product is obtained COCS3 is substituted it will uh, bond with NH and again uh, amide is obtained next example is aniline plus uh, acetic anhydride acetic anhydride is also a derivative of uh, carboxylic acid we can write acetic anhydride in uh, short form CH3CO twice O so like that we can easily draw acetic anhydride in short form and if we want to uh, write long form of acetic anhydride we must know structure of acetic acid so how to draw acetic anhydride CH3 CO O so this part is same for acetic acid also and now remove that H of acetic acid so acetic acid is like this remove this H of acetic acid and uh, attach the same group which you have already attached here so CS, CO CH3 so that's how we can uh, draw acetic anhydride and COCS3 of that combines with NH to give amide and acetic acid is the byproduct. Some more acylation reactions are there. Products are the same with uh, so this is benzoyl chloride and uh, methyl amine or amino methane. So amino methane plus benzoyl chloride again gives amide and HCl goes out with acid, uh, acetyl chloride or we can say benzyl chloride poisonous byproduct is obtained HCl one more reaction is uh, there aniline plus uh, benzyl chloride 
so again same thing substitution reaction hcl goes out and again amide is obtained so this is all about acylation reaction next uh, reaction is the reaction with chloroform and this reaction is also known as carbylamine reaction when chloroform reacts with uh, primary amine in the presence of alcoholic base alkyl carbylamine is obtained Arca alkyl carbylamine is nothing but rnc rnc is alkyl carbylamine or it is also known as alkyl isocyanide by product is a salt kcl and water is obtained so in the reaction side there is hydrogen and oxygen and therefore on the product side we can write water apart from that k plus and cl minus are there so salt is formed kcl and uh, the one which are left is isocyanide r and c isocyanide or we can say alkyl carbylamine therefore this reaction is also known as carbylamine reaction so when aniline is treated with chloroform now we have taken one example aniline is treated with chloroform in the presence of alcoholic base it gives phenyl isocyanide c6h5 is nothing but phenyl so this part is c6h5 phenyl and nc is isocyanide so phenyl isocyanide is obtained and byproducts are the same 3 kcl plus 3 water so this is the third reaction reaction with chloroform and this reaction is also known as carbylamine reaction now next uh, is a reaction with uh, nitrous acid nitrous acid is HNO2 and that HNO2 is obtained by mixture by uh, having mixture of NaNO2 and HCl so when NaNO2 and HCl are mixed HNO2 is obtained in the first reaction this HNO2 is written in this form so let's see reaction with nitrous acid helps in distinguishing between amines primary amines react with nitrous acid to form alcohol so RNH2 is primary amine so it react with nitrous acid and it gives alcohol as the main product nitrogen goes out and water is the byproduct Similarly, amines react with nitrous acid to form a yellow green oily layer of N nitrosamine. Okay, but which amine it is? Secondary amine. So, secondary amine uh, reacts differently with nitrous acid. Secondary amine, when reacts with nitrous acid, it gives uh, N nitrosamine, and that is a yellow green oily layer. So, we can see yellow green oily layer of N nitrosamine and uh, when we warm this n nitrosamine so this is n nitrosamine and when we warm this n nitrosamine with a crystal of phenol a few drops of concentrated sulfuric acid forms green solution which when treated with aqueous NaOH turns deep blue and then red on dilution and this reaction is very famous and this reaction is known as Lieberman's nitroso reaction okay so let's see it again so when primary amine reacts with uh, nitrous acid it gives alcohol but secondary amine reacts differently with nitrous acid when secondary amine react with nitrous acid it forms yellow green oily layer of n nitrosamine and when this n nitrosamine warmed with phenol and a few drops of sulfuric acid that is concentrated we get a green color solution and when this green color solution is treated with aqueous NaOH, uh, we get a deep blue uh, color solution and then red when we dilute it. And this is very famous reaction known as Lieberman's nitroso reaction. Then next is tertiary amine. Tertiary amine again uh, react differently. Tertiary amines readily dissolve in nitrous acid forming crystalline trialkyl ammonium nitrite. So generally we can say salt is obtained. So all three amines, primary, secondary and tertiary, 
uh, amines react differently with nitrous acid primary amines use alcohol secondary amines use n nitrous amine and tertiary amines give trialkyl ammonium nitrite now next reaction is uh, diazotization reaction so in case of diazotization reaction a uh, bad living group nh2 is uh, converted into good living group nh2 is bad living because of high, generally hydrogen bonding nh2oh are the examples of bad living groups and uh, if you want to convert this nh2 bad living group into good living group uh, then uh, diazonium salt uh, we can form a diazonium salt so how diazonium salt is obtained for uh, diazonium salt we require nno2 plus hcl so if we mix NO, nno2 with hcl under 0 to 5 degree celsius to aniline or any other amine generally it reacts with aniline only so aniline plus uh, nno2 plus hcl so this mixture is known as diazotai uh, diazonium salt mixture so aniline plus nno2 plus hcl 0 to 5 degree celsius give diazonium salt so nh2 is bad living group but that bad living group is converted into good living group n2 plus cl minus the first nitrogen carries four bond therefore it will have positive charge because nitrogen always have three bond so n2 plus cl is uh, obtained that is diazonium salt and that is very good living group so it goes out easily byproducts are sodium chloride salt and water so this is the diazotization reaction aniline reacts with uh, a diazotization mixture nno2 plus hcl condition is very very important temperature should be maintained 0 to 5 degree in between that and benzene diazonium chloride is obtained that is diazonium salt it is a good living group n2 plus cl minus And now last chemical reaction is electrophilic uh, substitution reaction. Electrophile is uh, electron uh, deficient species. So this electrophile, electron deficient species uh, can attack easily on benzene ring. Because benzene is electron rich, benzene is having pi electron cloud. Therefore, we can say benzene acts as a nucleophile. And therefore electrophile could easily attack on the benzene ring so uh, first electrophilic reaction we can see bromination where bromine is the electrophile and uh, we saw in our previous videos that NH2 is electron donating group so incoming electrophile will attack either on ortho or para position NH2 is electron donating group so incoming electrophile is ortho para directing and we can uh, see clearly that three bromines are there two are at ortho position and one uh, is at para so 246 tribromo aniline is formed when excess of bromine is used so when aniline is treated with excess of bromine 246 tribromo aniline is obtained bromine here acts as electrophile so it attacks easily on uh, electron rich uh, benzene part of the aniline bromine is uh, bromine will carry positive charge and uh, the benzene ring will have negative charge so it acts as nucleophile and bromine acts as electrophile and therefore electrophilic substitution takes place electrophilic substitution is always easy uh, for benzene rings because benzene acts as nucleophile uh, but uh, what if we just want a para bromanilin if we don't want ortho substituent if we want just a para bromanilin then how uh, we can get only a para bromanilin so for that uh, we have to first protect aniline nh2 functional group so that nh2 is protected with the help of acetic anhydride uh, same reaction which we saw in acylation so NHCOCH3 is obtained pyridine is used as a base so it helps to remove that hydrogen and it also uh, helps to neutralize the byproduct which is acetic acid here 
same acylation reaction which we saw and acetanilide is obtained so nh2 uh, is converted into acetanilide first and when attack of bromine occurs so here bromine cannot attack on ortho position because of bulkiness of this group nhcoch3 is bulkier group so bromine so there is a more crowding uh, if bromine goes into ortho position and therefore bromine does not go into ortho position it goes into para position and that's how para bromo acetanilide is obtained here acetic acid is used as solvent and in next step uh, NHCOCH3 is again deprotected to give NH2. So para bromo aniline is obtained. Uh, we can uh, deprotect anilide part that is NHCOCH3 by either using a base or an acidic medium. Either one of them is required there. We can either use basic medium or acidic medium and uh, para bromo aniline is obtained. So this is the reaction aniline reacts with acetic anhydride in the presence of pyridine base acetanilide is obtained NHCOCH3 and when it is treated with bromine in acetic acid para bromo acetanilide is obtained bromine have no choice but to go to para position it will not attack ortho position because of crowding because of bulkiness of anilide part and then uh, in the presence of basic OH minus or we can also use H plus we can use any one of that uh, again the deprotection occurs and NHCOCH3 gets converted into NH2 and para bromo para bromo aniline is obtained so this is all about uh, Bromination reaction which comes under electrophilic substitution reaction. The next uh, type of electrophilic substitution reaction is uh, nitration reaction. So, in nitration reaction, the electrophile is nitronium ion. We can write nitronium ion like this NO2 plus. There is plus charge on nitrogen because of. Uh, if, because if we compare between nitrogen and oxygen, oxygen is more electronegative and therefore uh, plus charge will be on nitrogen. So this nitronium ion is obtained uh, when we mix nitric acid and sulfuric acid. HNO3 and H2SO4 when they are mixed uh, will get this nitronium ion. Now what happens? Uh, in this reaction we get C product we get uh, para nitroaniline we get meta nitroaniline and also we get ortho nitroaniline so all three products are obtained in this reaction generally what will be our observation NH2 is electron donating group so the incoming nitro group should go into ortho or para, para position and meta product is not obtained that is our observation but what happens here for nitronium ion we have maintained acidic condition nitric acid and sulfuric acid so acidic condition is there for nitration and because of this acidic condition because of this acidic condition this uh, NH2 which is having lone pair gets converted into NH having plus charge so in short uh, we can say aniline gets converted into anilinium ion aniline gets converted into anilinium ion we can write NH3 here so it gets converted into anilinium ion because of acidic condition so H attacks what is definition of acid acids are proton donors so it will donate proton to NH2 because NH2 is having lone pair of electrons and anilinium ion is obtained and this anilinium ion is electron withdrawing group anilinium ion is electron withdrawing group and electron withdrawing groups are meta directing 
and that's why a meta product is obtained here so overall three products are obtained para is 51% around meta is 47 and 2% uh, of ortho product is also there so three products uh, are obtained in strongly acidic medium significant amount of meta isomer is obtained and this is due to formation of anilinium ion which is the meta directly it is electron withdrawing group ns3 plus however para derivative can be obtained as a major product but uh, again we'll get a mixture of product here so if we want uh, para nitro aniline suppose if we want para nitro aniline then uh, how we can react this reaction if we want para nitro aniline then uh, similar to the bromination reaction what we'll do we'll write aniline here and this aniline is uh, treated with acetic anhydride and uh, pyridine and what is obtained aniline gets converted into acetanilide that is nh co ch3 and this acetanilide is then nitrated by using this same mixture hno3 h2so4 so nitrating mixture is there hno3 oblique h2so4 and then that no2 goes to the para position same reason which uh, we have given for bromination reaction at para nhco ch3 and here no2 is obtained at the para position because the uh, first thing is nhco ch3 is ortho and para directing and ortho attack is not possible because uh, of bulkiness of nhco ch3 that is anilide group and that's how para nitro acetanilide is obtained and then the last step is also same deprotection in the presence of either base or acid and from that para nitro acetanilide para nitro aniline is obtained so first aniline is treated with acetic anhydride in the presence of pyridine to give acetanilide and then uh, nitration with the help of nitric acid and sulfuric acid at 288 kelvin nitro group goes to the para position and then uh, deprotection of uh, anilide nhcocs3 and para nitro aniline is obtained then uh, so this is all about nitration reaction second electrophilic substitution reaction then third electrophilic substitution reaction is sulfonation so in sulfonation reaction concentrated sulfuric acid is the uh, only reagent used so aniline plus concentrated sulfuric acid gives salt because aniline is basic in nature sulfuric acid is acidic in nature salt is obtained that is nh3 plus hso4 minus that is anilinium hydrogen sulfate and when this anilinium hydrogen sulfate is treated at 453 to 473 kelvin sulfanilic acid is formed sulfanilic acid is this so SO3H goes to the para, posi para position because of that salt only SO2 rearranges SO3H uh, rearranges to the para position because of that salt option in the second step and it is kind of reversible reaction this NS3 plus and SO3 minus we can say it as bitter ion uh, which you know uh, is there in amino acids so this is the sulfonation reaction where SO3H is uh, substituted. Uh, SO3H is the electrophile here. Like in previous cases we saw bromine and uh, nitro group are electrophiles. Here SO3H is electrophile. So when aniline is treated with sulfuric acid, acid base reaction occurs and salt is obtained, anilinium hydrogen sulfate. And when it is treated uh, at 453 to 473 Kelvin, sulfanilic acid is obtained. 
and it is reversible we can write it uh, in the form of zeta i and after that the last type of electrophilic substitution reaction is the friedel craft reaction so in case of friedel craft reaction uh, again uh, lewis base and lewis acid so lewis base is aniline here and uh, aluminum trichloride is lewis acid and uh, due to salt formation nitrogen of aniline acquires positive charge and thus acts as a strong deactivating group and hence does not allow friedel craft reaction to occur in short we can say friedel craft reaction does not occur in case of aniline because of salt is formed and the salt is formed because of lewis acid and lewis base okay so that's all these are four electrophilic substitution reaction bromination nitration sulfonation and friedel craft reaction in friedel craft reaction product is not formed because the salt is obtained with the catalyst alcl3 so total number of uh, chemical properties of amine so first we saw alkylation after that we saw acylation third uh, reaction is carbylamine reaction or we can say reaction with chloroform the next up is uh, reaction with nitrous acid next diazotization and last one is electrophilic substitution we saw four types of electrophilic substitution reaction here bromination nitration sulfonation and friedel craft reaction so that's all thanks for watching the video bye